Well, it's been more than 10 years since Elizabeth Smart was kidnapped at the age of 14 and sexually assaulted for nine months. Now in her mid-20s, Elizabeth runs a foundation to educate children about sexual crimes, and she recently talked about abstinence education during a speech at Johns Hopkins University. Roxanne Vainuku is covering the story for us this morning. Roxanne, what was her message? She talked specifically about her captivity, and she explained why she didn't run away. She says things she was taught about abstinence as a child played a major factor in her behavior as a captive. Like, life had no more meaning to it. Elizabeth Smart addressed an audience at Johns Hopkins University, discussing her feelings after having been raped and abused by her captors. You can imagine the most special thing being taken away from you. Elizabeth said it didn't make sense for her to run from her captors because she already felt ruined. It's a feeling she says she learned as a child. She said, imagine you're a stick of gum and when you engage in sex, that's like, that's like getting chewed. And then if you do that lots of times, you're going to become an old piece of gum. And who's going to want you after that? Lindsay Hansen Park is a women's rights activist. She says teaching abstinence to children and teens is a delicate dance. When you put such an emphasis on abstinence, it gives the idea of virginity such weight. And so, um, and it makes it the most important thing. Abstinence is often referred to as purity in religious circles. Lindsay says that's another teaching that can cause a victim to feel the way Elizabeth did. Kind of insinuates that you can either be pure or impure. And if you equate that with, with sex or any act of sex, you know, um, someone that is raped or molested is really confused at where that leaves them. Elizabeth Smart wrapped up her speech, calling for listeners to educate children not on purity, but rather on how to avoid being a victim. You don't have to live your life that way. You don't have to do what other people tell you, that you have value and you always will have value. Nothing can change that. Then that's what we should be doing. The abstinence topic, of course, a hot one in our state. In 2012, Governor Herbert vetoed a bill that would have made abstinence-only sex education the norm in our schools. Back to you. All right, uh, Roxanne, thanks for that.